Welcome to Expert Talks by Calkine TV. I'm Sage. Hope you're doing well today. Our guest for you is Martin Rowinski. He's a CEO at Boardsy. And for some background, Boardsy is a modern recruiting company providing executives with advisory positions and companies with top talent. It is revolutionising the way companies and executives connect through advanced technology and meaningful human connections. Bringing you live today, we have Martin Rowinski, CEO at Boardsy. Welcome to the show, Martin. Thank you very much. Happy to be here. Great to have you with us. So let's begin at the top. Could you let us know what Boardsy platform is all about and how it's simplifying the board recruitment process, please? Absolutely. So we started uh, over four years ago, uh, coming up on five, but we um, just thought it'd be a great idea to put together a network of C-suite executives that have been there, done that. Uh, they could be entrepreneurs that maybe have taken companies public and they're out looking to help other companies do the same. Uh, on the flip side, we have found that a lot of companies are in need of these types of executives that uh, can basically take them to the next stage of the growth in the company. Um, we've ended up working with uh, everything from a startup company to mid-sized companies, even uh, publicly traded companies. And uh, we've just been able to create win-win situations where the executives uh, get back into helping companies and companies get the help that they need to uh, grow to the next stage. Well, that sounds fantastic. Uh, from what I know, those positions and boards are usually kind of headhunted and they're not usually advertised. So yeah. is that where your firm comes in like some sort of a consultant? Yeah, so we, we like to uh, consider ourselves more of a corporate uh, matchmaker, kind of like my book is titled The Corporate Matchmaker. We, um, the best example would be like a dating website. <laughs> I know it's a funny comparison, but... Um, since we have a network of executives that have already expressed the interest in being on a board position, uh, they have the time, they have the resources to be able to help the company. And then the companies come to us um, asking for those types of executives. It makes it an easy and quick solution. We utilize actually AI and human touch to uh, make the final connection and introduction. Um, and after that, the interview, uh, the company is ultimately making the decision whether they're going to bring that person on as an advisor or not. Thank you. Martin, I like how you mention dating apps <laughs> with the use of <laughs> AI technology matching people for dates. Yeah. So custom AI matching technology mixed with human touch or human connection enables users to have a seamless networking experience through your platform. But how do you tackle challenges like data privacy, security, as well as scarcity, please? So yeah, a couple of different ways. Our network is private. It's not shared with anybody. Um, executives within themselves don't get to see who are the other executives on the platform looking for the same positions. Um, as far as the companies, um, to find out exactly who the company is that's in search of a uh, executive, you do have to be a member. So that's not never publicly um, announced. So we do keep that private. And some companies even go uh, a little bit deeper and they don't want to be on our platform. They don't want to be displayed. So that is totally kept away from them. And what we do with, in that environment is we provide them with the executives that we think are a good fit. And then uh, they make a choice at that point. And the ones that they would like to interview, those are the only ones that are introduced to that company. Okay, thank you for that. Um, so what are your thoughts on the great resignation that we've heard oh, a lot about in the media? Yeah. How should companies retain and recruit amid the mass resignation, please, Martin? Yeah, that's a, that's a tough one. Many articles have come out. I actually wrote one. I can't remember if it was on uh, Forbes or Entrepreneur, but um, I think actually advisors and board members should definitely step in and help out um, really need to figure out why it's happening and what are they looking for. And for the most part, uh, most employees that are resigning are looking for flexibility and a way where, you know, they did get used to working remotely. And I think they're looking for that opportunity. Um, a lot of companies are recalling them and making them come back to the offices. Um, so I think coming up with some kind of a flexible schedule where Maybe there is an office meeting or they do come into office a couple of days a week, but having the option and opportunity to work remotely, I think probably would help out a lot. 
And outside of that, any other perks uh, that would keep the employees happy. Uh, for us, we, we haven't had that problem ourselves. Um, our biggest thing that I think we've created at Boardsai is we've really created a family environment and uh, not that we try to make it fun, but we definitely uh, encourage everybody to do what they do best and definitely focus on their skills, uh, their values, and put them in the right position uh, where they can actually shine. That's great to hear because it's not always the competitive spirit that gets ahead. It's kind of the collaborative and the um, the solutions focused um, person yep. that gains. So Martin, many believe that the future of work isn't fancy technology, although we kind of live in a world where cyber tech runs the markets. It's remote work and smarter management in a hybrid model that a lot of people are veering towards these days. How should recruiters make the best of this, please? So I think if, if the company or the recruiters, if the company that's recruiting is not focused on recruiting within a geographical area where maybe the hybrid is not necessary, uh, I think the biggest thing to focus on, which actually has helped us out, it opened up a lot of uh, doors for our executives where even on board positions or advisors, they used to seek them to be local or nearby where they can be in person meetings. And I think we all figured out that we can get a lot of great work done remotely. You know, remote work is very easily accomplished these days and technology does help that. So I think focusing on skill sets and uh, personal mission, vision and values and finding the top, top level employees that match those things with a skill set is really going to be a very, very uh, good thing for the company. Exactly. Thank you so much for sharing that. So Board's Eye is revolutionizing the way companies think and communicate through its innovative methods. As we wind up the discussion here, Martin, what are your plans at Board's Eye for the rest of 2022? So we have a lot of good things coming actually um, this month or uh, month is almost wrapped up, but uh, within the next couple of weeks, we are releasing a couple of things that will help our executives brand themselves and pre present themselves. Um, we're kind of moving away from the old resume and we're putting together a wizard that will help them create what we call a board document, uh, which will really display their leadership skills. Um, it's very, very similar to a resume, but it, it does focus on some board work certification. Um, and then the other thing we're really working on, we've already partnered with one education course uh, that's certified for board members. And we ourselves are putting together a few other courses that will be included uh, with the onboarding and basically the membership for executives where they can take advantage of uh, further education and preparing themselves to do board work and advisory work. That sounds fantastic. Um, it's, it's the way you market yourself really that gets you places these days. So best of luck with yes, that moving does. forward. <laughs> Very important to brand yourself. Most people don't think about it that way, but it really is. So true. Thank you, Martin, for sharing your insights. We really appreciate it. Absolutely. Thank you. Thanks for having me. And if you just joined us, we had a very informative discussion there with Martin Rowinski. He's a CEO at Board's Eye. You can watch the full interview at Calcine Media's YouTube channel. Keep watching for more of these inspiring expert talks and market insights. Till the next episode, stay apprised and invest wise with Calcine Media.